China and Israel share a strong traditional core, and education stands out as a powerful meeting point for both Asian civilizations. This uh, exceptional synergy was uh, further boosted when Li Kaxing picked out Israel's Technion University from the list of 74 to finance a local branch in China. The Israeli Institute of Technology is the leading university for science and technology in Israel. It was established over a century ago and is located on the slope of the Carmel Mountains in the city of Haifa. The Technion is increasingly becoming a global example of how investment in higher education can impact the destiny of a young nation. Its president, Peretz Levy, is certainly proud of the achievement of his institution and hopes to spread its innovation worldwide. One of the strategic goals of the Technion is uh, globalization. It must open its borders, must, uh, must attract uh, uh, foreign students, foreign faculty. Technion graduates have been estimated to constitute over 70% of the founders and managers of high-tech businesses in Israel, with the university hosting several Nobel laureates. Li Keqing, one of the richest men in China and eighth in the world, decided to invest in the collaboration. They told us they would like the Technion to become a mentor of uh, their activities in China. And he told us about his vision to have a base, Israeli base in China. The new university will be called the Technion Guangdong Institute of Technology, with a Technion name carried to the facility that will eventually be built in China. The main branch of the Technion of Haifa will be responsible for selecting students, building the academic programs, training the faculty, and to grant degrees in China. I believe that having a strategic relationship with the, uh, the Chinese Academy, having a bridgehead for Israeli companies in China is of major importance to Israel. Mr. Li Keqing and the Technion hope projects like this will strengthen ties between China and Israel and serve as a beacon for continued collaboration for time to come. My strategic goal is again, uh, the Technion is now among the top 50. We would like to be among the top 10, and I think we can do it. The future of Israel is dependent on uh, technology and science. I have no doubt about it. Mr. Li Keqing called the Technion a role model and said in a speech that in a world of fluid boundaries, the transformative power of technology waves like a magic wand, bringing new models and opportunities to many frontiers and generating new solutions to entrenched problems. But we all know the wands are only as powerful as the wizards who use them, and the magic comes from the genius within. And with me in the studio to understand more about this is I-24 News correspondent Danny Swibel. Danny, thank you very much for coming to the studio. Thank you for having me. So uh, is it um, the beginning of a beautiful friendship or is it a one-time thing and that's it? I like to believe it's the beginning of a beautiful friendship. Okay. The two-way trade between China and Israel in 2012 has reached $10 billion. This has risen exponentially since the relations began 21 years ago. Okay. So China is Israel's largest uh, partner in Asia, trading-wise. The third largest in the world for Israel. So this is a very big relationship, and it's booming. China right now is currently trying to pursue what I call the Chinese dream. They want to be a prosperous society. They want to be an innovative society. They want to be a global leader. And with the Israelis' help, they see themselves as being able perhaps to do yeah, this. Yeah, let's not forget that they're an upcoming power in front of the U.S. Yes. And so it's Absolutely. So they see Israel in terms of its research and development. They look at different fields like technology in Israel, uh, sustainability, water, energy, cars, you name it. They see this and they're taking notes. They see this information out there. And then they see companies like Apple and Google and Cisco, and they see them investing a lot of money into Israel. They see Apple opening up a headquarters in Israel. Apple only has a headquarters in the United States, so for them to come to Israel, the Chinese are seeing this, and they want to get on that bus as well. But you know, I have to understand, why should this person invest this huge amount of money specifically in Israel and not somewhere else where maybe he can earn more? Well, Li Keqing is actually the third largest philanthropist in the world, wow. just behind okay. Bill Gates and Warren Buffett. So he has a lot of money to spend. I think he spent around $10 billion. And he sees Israel as the leaders in, in these, this research and this science. He went to universities all over the world trying to find something that could be a model for what he wants to create in China. 
And when he went to the Technion, he was really convinced. And it's kind of funny, just in a, when he was actually heading back to China, and he's in a taxi cab, um, the taxi driver actually took out his phone, and he was typing in something. And Li Keqing asked him, well, what are you doing? He's like, oh, this is a program Waze. It's an Israeli invention, Waze, that gets you from, from A to B, where you want to go. Li Keqing is like, I want to invest in that. He actually took the profits from that, and he invested back into the tech. He invested in Waze. He invested in ways, made a lot of money when they got bought up by Google, and he put that money now into Technion. He loves Israeli innovation, and he wants it to be the model and future collaborations with China. Do you think that the problem between uh, the bank of uh, China can affect uh, uh, and Israel can affect a deal between these two countries? These are definitely things that are going to have an effect. And we don't know how big or small, but we do know that at least private investors will continue to collaborate. People in the technology fields, people in the education fields will continue to collaborate from time to come. That's how I see it. Danny Swibel, thank you very much for this. Thank you.